So when you're trying to work with vector layers in QGIS, you have to iterate over different features for doing data processing. We'll learn about iterators, and we'll also learn about list comprehensions. This is allow you to write your code very succinctly and with less amount of code. So let's start here. We're going to load the SF project, and we're going to work on select this blocks layer. We'll open the Python console and my code editor here. So far, we have not learned how to actually read features from the layer. If I look at this blocks layer, this has got some polygons here, and we have some attribute table. We have this FID block number and some multi geom three columns. We have 6,000 features here. So far, we've not learned how can I iterate and get features from this layer. So if I want to get attributes of all the features, I want to manipulate the feature itself. How do I do this? First, let's get the reference to the layer. We can just say iFace.active layer and let me print the layer. So we get a QGIS vector layer object, and this is referring to this particular blocks layer. To iterate through features, we saw that this got 6,000 features. We can get all the features from this layer and iterate through it one by one. There is a function called layer.get features. So if you go to QGIS vector layer documentation, there's a method called get features, which will get you all the features from the layer. Let's just go to the documentation for a second and see what this looks like. So this is the QGIS vector layer class documentation. We'll go through all the available methods. There's a method here called get features. Where is the layer for the feature specify the request? So you say get features and it returns an iterator for matching features from the provider. Now, what's an iterator? You would think that when I say get features, this feature would contain all 6,000 features. Does it contain? Let me print this features. What is it? It says, this is a QGIS feature iterator object. It's not the features itself, it's an iterator. When you ask QGIS, say, I want all the features, the layer might be very big. It might have millions of features. If QGIS tries to load everything to RAM, it may not even fit inside RAM. What if you have a really large post GIS table? and you want to read features from it. It won't go and load all the features from the PostGIS table into RAM. That's not a wise thing to do. So when you say Q to QGIS, give me get features, you'll say, I'll give you an object which will allow you to go through the features one by one. So what you get from this get features is an iterator object. This iterator object in Python allow you to go through the features one by one. How do you get features from it? Well. Two ways, you can call this function called next. If I call next, it'll say, okay, what's next? I have my iterator, it's now at the first object, I'll give you the first object. So let me print this. You can see I got a QGIS feature object. I can do, do this again, and it'll give me the next object. So I'll load all the features. As you keep calling next, it's gonna give you the next in line, what all the features that are there but it's not fun to do next all the time. I say, I want to get through all the features. I want to go through features in sequence one by one. So when you have an iterator, the most common way that people use to iterate through it is just write a for loop. So you can say for F in features and we can, we can do something with F, right? So now it'll say, ask the features from this iterator one after the other, they'll be saved into this variable f and you can do something with it. Let's do something like this. We'll say f.id, this will be the feature id and we can then give it to some list. So we'll say ids.append id. So now we're gonna, this code will go through each feature, get its id, save it to this list. When I run this, it's gonna give me the list of all the feature ids. So we just went through every feature in our layer and got it their IDs of it. And you will see this kind of pattern all the time where you're doing some work, you'll say, I have all the features, get me the features one after the other, you'll get the features, you can do something with it. So iterators are widely used in Python and in systems where you don't want to load everything at once. The iterators allow you to iterate through it using a for loop and do something with the layer. When you are iterating your stuff, this kind of code is very common where you have to, you know, you create an empty list, you iterate through it, you append stuff to the list and get the list. And since you'll be doing this a lot, this kind of code can become quite cumbersome. As you saw previously, I had a typo in my code to keep track of all the variables. So Python gives you an easy way to do this kind of work. And that is done using something called a list comprehension. We'll teach you this concept around list comprehension.
well, it's going to change your life. It's going to make your lot of code very simple for you. It's a simple thing, but it's really helpful. So writing five lines every time, just do everything at once. So I'm going to first demonstrate it with a simple example. Let's say I have this variable my list and I want to add one to each item on the list. So I want to add one to each element. The typically you do it is that you say, I want to create a new list, empty list. You say for X in my list, new list dot append x plus one, and then you print new list. And you can see I have my list two, three, four, five, six. Instead of doing this, all of this, Python provides you with a syntax where you can say, I want to create my new list. I will create it directly here. So instead of doing this for x in my list, new list dot append x plus one, I can write all of this directly here. So the way to write this kind of list comprehensions is you start from the back. You have this square brackets and you say for X in my list, what to do with X? We'll say X plus one. That's it. I have my list. My new list is for X in my list, X plus one. Let's print this. You get the same answer. But now just a single line of code. No need to create an empty list, no need to append, no need to kind of write a for loop like this. Just write everything in a single line. You'll do this a lot when you're iterating over stuff. In QGIS, you'll iterate over column names, feature names, feature things, iterate over different layers. All of this, you can use a similar syntax. Just make it so simple and you'll make your code much more simpler and easy to debug. I want to show you some of the stuff of how you can actually get learn more about some of the features. So you have a feature, let's just get one feature from it. So I have the feature object. So this is, this is a QGIS feature object. I can do F dot fields. This one has different fields of this QGIS. So these are all the different column names. And you can see this also is an object to get to all the fields of a particular layer. We'll say these are all the field names. And I have to say for field in fields, print field dot name. So if I want to know what are the different column names, this is what I would do. I will say get f dot fields, which will give me a fields object, which is also an iterator. I will say for f field in, in fields, print field dot name, and then I get the field name. So instead of writing code like this for all of it, we can simplify it using a list comprehension. So Vikna, you can explain the exercise on how we can use the list comprehension to make such code much better.